What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. He's actually doing an anvil drop uh, to clear out a big portion of the ocean and I think he was actually supposed to do that yesterday so if you didn't see that definitely go ahead and check out his channel. This right here is a massive creeper farm built by uh, Logical Geek Boy originally and he turned it into a huge thing that produces over 100,000 gunpowder an hour so you're definitely not going to ever need any more gunpowder after sitting at that for a bit. And as a note, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you have any more hardcore streamers that we should check out, definitely put them in the comment section below so we can include them in future videos. All right, next up today, we have FWhip. You guys recommended him a lot and we have included him before, but we went ahead and checked out his world and saw he's doing some more pretty incredible things. This is a great season of hardcore Minecraft for him and he's definitely got a lot going on. FWhip is definitely a great designer. As you can see, uh, he does a lot of farms as well, of course, to get, you know, pumpkins, melons, and things to trade with villagers. And he's got a lot of building going on as well. He recently worked on the interior of his castle that he's building currently, and it turned out looking absolutely amazing. He did a short little uh, film of all the interior things that he changed, and it looks great. Definitely a great designer, and he's done some great work with all the block choices and everything he included in this. The outside of it looks amazing as well, including this garden area that he recently did, and he also recently built a massive tree in the center of the courtyard, which looks incredible. If you haven't seen any of FWhip's previous worlds definitely go check those out they are absolutely incredible especially with the mountain that he terraformed and everything else that he's done he's got a lot going on in his worlds and he's definitely worth checking out his videos are also extremely well put together so if you're just looking for somebody uh, who's very entertaining and also has a great video quality FWhip is definitely the guy to check out because I just love watching his videos they are very entertaining and very nicely done Next up we have another incredible builder and designer and that is the Mythical Sausage. The Mythical Sausage has an incredible hardcore world, a lot of it spread out over an ocean and it's absolutely beautiful. Everything that he's done looks incredible, there's a lot of detail in all his work. You can see right here uh, just with these buildings and the terraforming he's done to this island, there is a lot going on and even in the background you can see some of the islands he's terraformed as well. There's even an Aztec pyramid, so definitely a lot going on in his world and it looks incredible. This is only one small section of his world and he actually goes and tours around all of them, so be sure to check out his full tutorial if you want to see his whole world. His world has a lot of different sections, so as you can see over here, we have a Mesa Badlands that he's created an entire western theme in, which also looks absolutely incredible. Uh, it goes deep into this Mesa biome, and he's even done a lot of terraforming in this area to make it fit his vision. The western theme in the Badlands is a perfect area for it, and it looks absolutely incredible. I like the way that he built into all the surrounding mountains. It definitely gives it a very nice look, and he does a great job of adding detail across this whole area. He even builds his own trees and things like that to make it look exactly the way he wants it and you can tell right here that he's even built an entire train that looks absolutely incredible. Another great area of his world to check out is the actual stronghold transformation that he did. 
I actually really like this stronghold transformation. It's a lot different than most of the other ones that you see. He's kind of built a very modern orange room uh, that is kind of piping out all the energy that's coming from this portal. I think it's a great idea and makes it look really incredible. He also has a very nice Enderman farm. What I really like about this Enderman farm, it's a standard design that most use, but he used a lot of detail blocks to make it look completely different than anything you've seen before. And I really like that he actually put in that extra work to make this thing look incredible. I mean, look at that. Nobody else does that. The Pirate Cove area that he did as well looks absolutely insane. I love the pirate theme and this kind of design of building, and it's great seeing him do it as well. He even went as far as making his own pirate flags and things like that to put in this area and chaining up some zombies to make it uh, have a real nice piratey theme. Next up we have one of the most highly requested people and that is Jahida. This is from his season 2 hardcore uh, world and it's absolutely insane as you can see just from this area. Uh, he had a lot of mob farms and storage rooms, things like that going on. He also did a full bastion transformation which absolutely looks incredible when he finishes it, as you can see right here. Uh, he's also got a gold farm as well that produces a ton of gold and also XP, of course. So he's definitely got a lot going on in his worlds, and he's one of the best streamers uh, to check out right now. So if you haven't heard of him before, definitely go check out his channel and his Twitch, and also uh, see everything else that he's done in Hardcore Minecraft. I think that he did a great job transforming this bastion and making it pretty much whole again. Uh, the gold, lanterns, everything he included in this looks amazing and it's definitely a great build. I especially like the uh, mushroom lights that he put in the ground and also the statues that he built as well. Next up we have one of our most highly requested people as well and that is Linksy. A lot of you guys suggested we go and check him out, so we did and he is absolutely insane. He's over 6,000 days right now in his hardcore world and right here he's in his desert area uh, for his world tour and this whole world is absolutely insane. I suggest you guys go and check out his channel because we can't include his whole world in this video today, but it's definitely worth checking out. He's got so much going on in this world and it's incredible. This simple sand area right here is an area that he's been working on. He's got a lighthouse and a ton of other buildings with a lot of purposes. Uh, he's even got a major slime farm in this area as well, which produces a ton of slime. Uh, so he's definitely put a lot of work into this world and he's definitely worth checking out. He's a streamer on Twitch as well, so you can go and watch his live streams and see how he's doing over there. His gold farm as well looks absolutely incredible. I love that the detail and everything that he's put into this area is so well done. Uh, he's even got a floating castle up there, or mansion I should say, uh, where he actually does all his piglin bartering. So he used to do it down here, but since he doesn't AFK in this world, uh, he put it up there instead so that he could still get uh, the gold drops while he's up there bartering. He also emptied out a guardian temple and made a guardian farm in it as well. But the design that he did for it is completely unlike anything I've ever seen before. Uh, he used a lot of blackstone and made two giant tridents holding up this entire guardian temple. And I think this is one of the best designs uh, that I've ever seen for a watered out uh, guardian farm. This thing is insanely cool and completely unique. I love that he also put black glass on top of the bedrock level so that you can actually walk across the bedrock without falling down into it, but you can't see the glass at all because of his connected textures. He's got a lot going on in this world and he's definitely worth checking out so go ahead and check out his channel and the rest that we included in today's video down in the description below where we've linked them all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe. We have a ton more content and if you're wanting to see any more of these hardcore videos the links for those will be in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.